Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this episode, we're going to be drawing the Beetlejuice Sandworm. Now, if you want to draw actual Beetlejuice himself, you can find the link to this tutorial in the description of the video. I did this one previously, so you can find the link to this one in the description. But today, we are doing the sandworm. So this is the most epic version of the sandworm you're gonna find on YouTube. I guarantee it, it's gonna be so fun. We're gonna draw the sandworm, so grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. Hi there, welcome back. Today we're going to be drawing the Beetlejuice sandworm. I'm so excited. Uh, if you join me on the Beetlejuice episode that I did, um, link to it in the description below in the video um, if you did not see this one. But if you did see this one and you're excited about that, you'll know that I am a huge fan, massive fan of Beetlejuice. I don't know why, I just like creepy things and it's funny and I like it. Anyways, so we're going to, for this October, they're doing the Beetlejuice Sandworm. So here we go, I'm super excited to get going on it. So the Sandworm kinda has a couple layers of mouth. It's a very Tim Burton-esque styled drawing. So we're gonna, <laughs> it's a little, little bit strange, but that's cool. Strange and unusual is a lovely thing. So here we go. We're gonna start off with the, <laughs> hmm, how should we do this? Let's do the head. Okay, so we're gonna do this weird, creepy head. So let's start off with a swooping mouth that goes up and over. We'll add this sort of lip. And then from there, we're gonna draw a line that goes up, over. We'll add a circle for the eye on the outer outer layer. It's a layered worm. And we'll add some curving lines around it for the eye folds. <laughs> and then we're gonna bring it down for a moment. Okay, we're gonna add the rest of this mouth here. But bring this lip down to the corner, bring it forward, and I'm making it a lot more unusual. And then we'll have it going partially in. In the corners of this mouth, we're gonna add some curving lines. And along the top here. And then we're gonna add some teeth here and there along the top and bottom before we draw the inside face. It's a layered head. So we're now, <laughs> now we're gonna draw the inside head that kind of comes out from the, the main head. Yeah, it's a layered worm, it's a layered worm. So now we're gonna have the main or the other face I don't know how to describe it. Coming out, and this one's also gonna open. So bring that down and back up. Have an opening like that. Draw another set of lips. And some lines around the corners of the mouth here where it's opening. The bottom of the mouth peeking out. We're gonna add an eye, a nice big long eye in here. We'll add some folds around that eye as well. And this one has some spots on it. So we'll add some spot details. This one has a long tongue sticking out of it. So we'll add its Tongue, which in the sandworm tradition, also the timber and well, Beetlejuice tradition, this is a black and white stripes. Everything has a pattern of black and white stripes. So we're gonna add that on here. 
And then once we have that, we can draw the back of the mouth and some teeth on this one. I'm gonna finish up the main mouth, the big mouth, by coloring in the dark of the mouth black and pulling the backside here down. Add a little shiny spot on that eye. And then we're ready to bring down bring down the rest of the body here. Okay, so we're gonna bring down the face, so we're gonna on starting over here, bring it in. I'm gonna curve it up and in. We're gonna add a curving fin, a dorsal fin on it. And then I'm gonna draw the curve of the body. So I'm gonna start off with one curving line that goes around and around. And then I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna follow the other line. And as I go, oops, we're gonna get more and more narrow. This way and connect. Cool. Kind of looks like the basilisk <laughs> from Harry Potter, but as a crazy sandworm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is my version of it, anyways. All right, so then <laughs> we need to add stripes. So it has stripes around the whole body, so we're gonna add. Stripes. First on the head, I'm skipping over that mouth. The fin is also black. And then we're gonna go down the body. You're gonna notice I'm actually drawing them as a curve. Because I wanna imply that the sandworm is curved. Or like round. The sandworm is round. In the original movie, I believe they did claymation for it. So it would have been an actual little Play-Doh, not Play-Doh, but plaster scene sort of model that they would do stop motion with. How fabulous is that? The artistry is amazing. Similar to how they did the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. That was all stop motion. Absolute artistry. Okay, so we're gonna color in the stripes, and you're gonna notice that I'm going to purposely leave a little, this part uh, white along the top for some shine of light. I don't particularly want to lose that because I want it to look like it's catching the light. I'm also gonna leave along the top here. Patch of light as well, a highlight. And then we'll go around 
gonna work on the stripes again. I wanna, wherever there's the upper facing parts, I'm going to intentionally leave a little bit of white. I did forget to do this fin, didn't I? Okay, so I'm gonna again leave some white. So it kind of outlines the in the side. So it kind of creates an outline, but with white. I kind of, this part kind of here, I'm gonna purposely leave that white. So it's kind of like using a white outline versus a black outline. Oops, just so it stands out a little bit more. Oh, I made a mistake here. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some more artist flavor. So we're going to, artist flavor is kind of like the, the essence that makes your art yours. So for me, and you can choose to do this part or not, um, it's really up to you. But for me, I'm going to go around, I'm just gonna add these lines around the edges, just to add a little bit of character to the design. A little bit more expressiveness around the mouth and the lips, a little bit more texture in there just so it's a little bit more grotesque. Just because I like that style, but you might not, and you might you, you can totally make yours the way you want, and that's okay. That's okay. We all should be allowed to express ourselves in our own ways. So that's important. Okay. Mr. Sandworm, you're looking pretty darn good. Nice and shiny. I don't even have any highlights or colors. So I'm gonna do, I guess I should do the lips first. I'm gonna grab a turquoise for the lips here. We're gonna go over this in a nice turquoise. We're also gonna do it on this guy in the inside mouth. Okay, I love it. We have the mouth, the inside is red, but I did not. Oh, I did. I actually can't do it on this one because I didn't actually close it off all the way. So I'll grab my candy apple. Is this it? Yep. I already colored in Beetlejuice, uh, sorry, the worm's mouth on the top part, but I did not in here. So this is actually supposed to be red, but well, I colored it in. It's okay. I made it a shadow. Okay, now I'm gonna make this part red. There we go. A little red. Um, the spots on this guy are red, but the eye is yellow on the smaller guy. I don't even have a yellow marker anymore. I really need 
a larger supply of felt markers in my life. So that's what I need. More felt markers. That one's not even sharp. I need to practice sharpening my stuff. Okay, we'll use that. Yellow, like it. Love it or list it. Okay, and then I need to do red in this guy's eye. And I did leave a little shiny spot on there. So that will stay white. Cool, like it. Okay, now we're gonna do some higher shading. So I'm gonna take my gray and I'm gonna work on the shadow in here first. So I'm just gonna add a shadow along the bottom of this creature. I'm just using a light gray to add a shadow. And then we'll go around the eye on this main part and around the mouth. I'm just gonna do a light shadow first. I'm gonna come back with a darker marker after. This one's quite, quite light. So I'm gonna do some of the bigger areas. And then I wanna work on a second layer. This one's quite light. So I can go farther up on that body. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick, that one's a neutral gray, cool gray. Let's see what this is like. Much better, so I'm gonna go around and do now a much bigger shadow around the eyes and mouth. Second layer of shadows in here. Definitely need more markers in my life. Okay, bring it down around the back. Bring it on the bottom there. Okay, that's looking good. I think I need one more very dark layer, just in some select spots. So on the bottom of this eye, add another layer, just to get that Tim Burton feel going. A little bit more creepy on the bottom of the lip here. Anywhere that's overlapping. I want this to be a focal point, so I want it to be a little stronger. We did not do this eye here. This guy's eye. Except for I did do it in colored pencil. I don't know how well that's gonna work. But anyway. Cool. And once you're done, your Beetlejuice worm is sandworm. Beetlejuice sandworm is done. I hope you had tons of fun drawing the sand, sand worm with me. If you did, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. I do have new episodes coming out every single week and this October, I'm gonna be doing a whole new flavor on this channel. It's gonna be real sick, similar to what we did in this episode. So make sure you check out um, and stay tuned for October because things are about to change on the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. It's gonna get real intense real quick, I promise you. So make sure you stick around. And for full art project tutorials, visit artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids membership to find hundreds of streamable art projects, full artwork tutorials that you can do from your favorite device. See you in the next episode. Bye for now.